I actually want to bring up something that's really interesting because GLP-1 drugs yeah. are all over the media. This is drugs like Ozempic. So you see all, the, all these like famous celebrities taking Ozempic and talking how it helps them uh, lose weight because it regulates their appetite, right? So they work by slightly reducing appetite and slowing digestion. But what's so remarkable is that the nutritarian diet, rich in beans, greens, nuts, and seeds, naturally activates the same pathways often four times more effectively than GLP-1 drugs. And plus, those foods come with other hormones that work synergistically to do the same thing. And I want to explain this on a mechanism level because we're all about understanding the science to being successful here. And GLP-1 is a gut hormone released by intestinal cells in response to eating, especially when certain nutrients are present. So it acts on the brain's appetite center to reduce hunger and lessen those cravings for high calorie pleasure driven foods, as well as enhancing insulin secretion and slowing gastric emptying, all things that promote a lasting feeling of satiety and helping stabilize blood sugar. So this way of eating slows the gastric emptying even more than the medication does. It allows your body to produce GLP-1 naturally endogenously within the body while also improving insulin sensitivity far beyond what the drug can achieve and lowering that post-meal glucose, which is called postprandial glucose more effectively and sustainably. For example, there's something called thylakoids and they're the membranes found in green leaves of green vegetables. And they have been shown to suppress a hormone that's your body's main hunger hormone and actually enhances GLP-1, increasing satiety and reducing appetite. So instead of relying on, you know, external drugs for some people like these celebrities to trick your system, here what we're doing is teaching our body to regulate appetite and metabolism naturally through real food. And it's all about what you're feeding your body and how much. Yeah. So if I understand you correctly, the foods that you're recommending on the nutritarian diet, they silence hunger, nourish the body, and allow people to eat at a lower caloric deficit so that they can lose weight. While being yeah. satisfied. Yeah, they're satisfied with the lower caloric, de caloric level. In other words, they'll be able to ascertain their own caloric needs and be comfortable um, not wanting to eat past their caloric needs, right? Exactly. That's some people, I, oh, go ahead. No, I'm just confused because I know Judy and she doesn't look overweight to me at all. So why does she feel she's overeating? If, I mean, can you, can you be, can you be overeating and still be? Yeah. Yes. Many people who are of a normal weight are still overeating. And then like, like, for example, at my wife's birthday party, I overate. I overate too much banana ice cream at the dessert and I had poor digestion and I didn't sleep well. I had like a little reflux because I ate so much of that banana ice cream at night. I overate. The point is that a lot of people just overeating even 100 calories a, you know, a day or 200 calories a day will speed up their metabolic rate to burn off the extra calories and not put weight gain. And the speeding up their metabolic rate, running their engine at a higher temp will accelerate the aging process and start to create digestive disturbances or reflux or, you know, so people habituate to overeating and many people who look normal weight, their BMI is normal, they look normal, they still have excessive body fat. Maybe their woman's body fat's above 25%, but, but she still doesn't look overweight. So yeah, we want a high muscle to fat ratio. We want the body fat below 25% for women and we want them to not overeat because eating, as you can imagine, I'm so, sure there are a lot of people that are eating meals to fullness are still, they're still, weight. they didn't gain weight. Their weight is okay. But because of that, they're creating um, inefficient digestion, enzymatic insufficiency to put that much, to digest that many food at one time in the stomach, and some increased production of factors that are going to age them because they exceeded their digestive capacity for that meal. So yeah, there's a lot of people that maybe don't look overweight who are still overeating and increasing metabolism or not digesting efficiency, or they could be creating disease with their food choices and, 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 um, and, and eating excessive calories. Yeah, you really shouldn't feel changes in your body when eating. So you should, I, I can go for a run after I eat a meal because I'm not overdoing it and I'm not feeling like my throat's burning or my stomach's really rumbling. And that's one of the things that I think people should focus on is you don't want to feel like you have to sit on the couch after a meal.